Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. episode 111. Happy New Year. Happy 2019. It is Monday. What is today? (laughs) January the 7th. Um, It has been two weeks since I sat down to be in the space with all of you, with myself, with my soul, with Gaia Earth, with Source Energy in the way that we do it here in Gaia's Love, and it feels really, really good to be back. It's a gray Monday here in Cincinnati for our first weather report of 2019, but it's it's sunny behind the clouds. I went outside earlier and was present with the earth and looked at the sky, and there was a beautiful little circle of light coming through these um, big gray clouds, and It feels like that's the, I don't know, the energy, the image that many of us are sensing or feeling as this new year begins. There's been a lot of stuff, a lot of work, a lot of healing, a lot of clearing, a lot of truth telling, a lot of shifting. There's just been a lot of stuff. And now as we move into the energy available on this new year, it's so exciting and there's such light pouring in and new opportunities opening up it's just a very very exciting time um, to be alive to be here on this beautiful planet of Gaia Earth to be in these human bodies it's a it's just an incredible gift I have no words (laughs) I have not enough words and so here we are the first podcast of this new year It was funny when I went to check because I couldn't remember where we ended last year. I thought it was in the early 100s, like eight or nine. And as I go, it's 110. I'm like, wait, (laughs) today's 111. And 111 is such a powerful uh, numerological energy. And so I looked it up just to see, is it the way I interpret 111? Is that how others also interpret it? And there are so many different definitions. One is the number of new beginnings. It's the first number of the original. It is multiplied as you add more numbers to it. So one times three is pretty powerful compared to just one on its own. And so the descriptions I saw were about um, how 111 is amplified positivity, abundance, manifestation how you can align your thoughts to be even more positive and then watch the results that come to you in the physical world from your thoughts going out with this really positive vibration. What a great way to start a new year, to be intentional with our word choices and our thoughts, sending out more positive vibrations so we can receive more positive manifestation, experiences, relationships, adventures, journeys. And then also the description I read said that 111 is a clear form of communication from the um, angelic realm or as I would say from our higher selves, from source God. There is this connection that happens through the energy of one, which is the original first number, which I always associate with the original source energy. 1111 is typically associated with awakening and specifically with the awakening of consciousness here on our planet. So all of this means (laughs) it's a really good way to start a first podcast of a year and it was not planned. So it's even more fun. It was this beautiful surprise (laughs) that I just experienced a minute or two ago right before I started this. 
So yay, here we are, first podcast of the year. What I have been feeling for a while, I was going to start the podcast last week and then there was just too much fun stuff happening here in our family while everyone was on vacation time. So I didn't. (laughs) So I'm here today instead. And the lyrics to the song that I just love, it's one of my all-time favorite songs for the energy of what it shares. It kept coming up last week and then again this morning. And so that is the title and the theme for today's podcast. It's a song by David Ramirez called The Fire of Time. And he he has this album, I think it's called The Rooster, but it's really about his journey of apparently going into his darkness or his grief or his shadow and then finding his own redemption, his way out of that journey. I love all the songs on the album, but this is my favorite by far. And I'm going to read the lyrics to you and then I'll put a link in the description for the song. I encourage you to listen to it, to take a moment and feel the depth of what he shares through his voice. He just touches the, what to me feels like the suffering, the angst of being human, of having these emotions and regrets and, you know, just the heaviness that can be felt in our human journeys. And then the nuggets that guide him out of that, the truth, the gift of looking at all of that old stuff as we start this new year. This song to me is a reminder, a call to action for all of us. Like, let us remember who we are. Let us dissolve all the illusion and the stories and the old beliefs and tap into at a soul level, like who are we? Who have we been before in other human journeys here on this planet? What is it that we are healing and releasing? So in this new year, in this continued human journey, we can be the most incredible version of ourselves. We can go back to what we thought was lost and be more, be better, be stronger, be bolder, be so fierce in who we are here to um, express as a soul in a human body. So here are the lyrics fire of time. You're going to hear it in my feminine high-pitched voice and then you're going to listen to his low husky masculine voice and you'll have this beautiful contrast. Here are the words of David Ramirez. I forgot how to smile as a sober man. I forgot how to laugh as a kid. I forgot what it's like to hold a woman's hand and not lead her straight to my bed. I forgot how to kiss and mean it, every pause, every slip of my tongue. I've been loyal to the wants of my lustful heart and unfaithful to my friend, love. But you remind me who I was and who I want to be. You remind me that though not whole, I'm not empty. There are things I lost in the fire of time Things I thought again, I'll never see. But when it's hard for me to recall my name, you remind me. You've been quick to dismiss all my apologies. My confessions seem to only waste your time. I thought grace was in the clouds among the heavenly, but now it's staring me right in the eyes. You remind me who I was and who I want to be. You remind me that though not whole, I'm not empty. There are things I lost in the fire of time. Things I thought again I'll never see. But when it's hard for me to recall my name, you remind me. I have sung that song so many times in my last few years of my journey, just loving, loving the words and knowing a big part of 
of my work in this lifetime, the work of Vivian that shows up in these spaces and talks and shares and guides and leads meditations and leads energy clearing. One of my biggest purposes or the best way to describe what I do is in that song. The things that we thought we lost in the fire of time are not lost. We're working towards being whole, but we're certainly not empty. And when you forget who you are, I'm here to remind you, I'm here to show you, I'm here to offer that reflection of who you are in the highest potential, who you are as a, an incredible infinite soul who chose to come into this limited, crazy, silly human body in this insanely chaotic place that we call Earth. You came with purpose. You came with great purpose as a soul. And I am here over and over again to remind you of that, to help you find that within yourself, to help you see that and hold that vibration and show up as that over and over again, even when it feels scary and crazy and a little risky and you know everyone around you thinks you're losing your mind. (laughs) You are (laughs) because you're coming back to the soul, to the part of you that you have always been that exists beyond the mind that exists after this human journey ends you can access that infinite soul here in each moment in this lifetime and the more you do that the more we do that the more humanity heals the more our planet heals the more fun life becomes when you're able to tap in and remember all that you've ever been all that you've ever created and shared and brought forth into humanity and all the other times and spaces you've ever existed. You are rich with value. Your existence is immensely important. And the more we share that, the faster this healing is going to move across our planet. That's why I came back. That's why I chose to come here. It was to help heal this gap between humanity and earth and source, to remind all of us, myself included, we are one. We come from one original breath life force and we return to that one original breath life force. So in the middle, (laughs) where we are right now, can be way more fun, way more beautiful when we tap into that unity, when we tap into remembering beyond the fire of time, we are whole. Individually, collectively, we are one energy, always. And so here we are at the beginning of this year that I already know is going to be the most magnificent year humanity has experienced here on this planet. It's already happening. It's happening quickly and powerfully and effectively. So we can drag our feet and pretend things aren't changing and ignore what is happening around us and it'll still happen. (laughs) We're still going to experience shifts whether or not we think they're happening, they are. Or we can drop all the way in soul and human body we can be embodied here and we can begin playing and sharing and dancing and expressing in new ways and it's going to be the most incredible ride this year the most incredible journey ever this year is one for the history books it's one that we will look back on and go holy wow (laughs) we were alive on earth in the year 2019 How wise were we to pick souls in human bodies at that time on that planet? This is one that will go down in the record books. So as you begin this new year with me in this vibration of absolute pure possibility, the, what would I even say, the ways that all pieces are coming together for me which I share with you so that you have the example and so that you can also be included and participate in what I am creating. 
the way it's all coming together for me is this space, Gaia's Love Podcast, is intended to help humanity and Gaia reconnect Earth. We do that through the sound of my voice and the sound of the stories and the energy, the vibration I share here, merging always with the ocean waves. Gaia's rhythm, the slower pace, of the waves that ebb and flow and continue infinitely. Those waves will continue after we all die, after humanity eventually leaves this planet. Those waves will still be washing on the shores of the beaches around this world. So it serves us as humans to tune into that vibration, to slow down the breath in our body, to match that that heartbeat of earth through the ocean waves, to allow our minds to rest while the ocean waves just calm our systems and heal our bodies. So in this podcast space, I continuously bring us back to that rhythm through my voice, the stories I share, and the ocean waves. For the next two weeks, from the first new moon of this year to the first full moon of this year, I have opened a global movement that I'm calling hashtag I am here now Gaia and it takes this certainty that humanity is ready to shift, ready to heal, ready to reconnect back in with our planet, to appreciate the beauty, the abundance that she shows us in every moment through simply stepping outside and taking a big breath of fresh air through planting our feet on the dirt and feeling the steadiness, the steadiness of this planet. She's spinning in circles around the sun all year long. And all we have to do is just stand on the earth and feel how strong and steady she is. What a gift, (laughs) what an incredible gift. When we remember that, when we as humans reconnect in with our planet and feel the energy she holds, the power, the strength that she will flood up into our bodies through our feet in any moment, we start to realize that we're not doing this by ourselves, that we're not separate. And then we start to shift our habits, our patterns. We, we begin consciously, unconsciously to Um, honor, appreciate, support the optimal health of this planet. We begin to make choices that reduce pollution, that reduce the carbon footprint that we each have that's impacting the health of the water, the health of the skies. We start to shift what we as humans are doing when we reconnect in and appreciate our planet. And so this movement, I am here now, Gaia, is just a gentle reminder, an invitation. Step outside every day. Just step outside. Pause. Be present with this earth, with Gaia, with the planet. Look around. Marvel at the gifts that she's always sharing and offering to us. Even when we're so busy, we don't always see them. Slow down your breathing and be present in the moment here now with Gaia and when you feel complete take a quick picture and share it on social media and start to change the stories the messages that we are transmitting through technology around our world create new news feeds shift the vibration of what we talk about what we spend our time reading on Facebook, on Instagram, Snapchat, all these different platforms change the conversations and allow this dialogue between humanity and Gaia to spread. As that happens, humans heal. Gaia is already whole, healthy, strong. When humans take up too much time and attention. She's just going to recorrect, course correct, and humanity will come to an end. But it doesn't have to be that way. The option is for us to start respecting our planet 
loving our planet and we can do that through presence through meditating through being still and tuning into the messages that she's constantly feeding into our awareness and then acting on them so this movement is a beginning a first step to really uh, shift the ways that we are communicating with Gaia Earth and then on Sundays I carry that vibration for an hour through an energy clearing and meditation where we can connect and feel feel in our bodies where we're out of alignment where we can heal where we can support our earth and we can receive from our earth and so the Sunday meditations are for humans <laughs> they are for us to do our own clearing work so that we can be more present in this journey and be bigger be bolder be so visible as souls in human bodies who came here to really show up for our planet, to show up for love. Which ultimately is this idea of the new earth that we talk about, that I am guiding us towards in this podcast space. So it's all coming together. It's all landing in this really beautiful, solid vision, (laughs) this new vision of what is possible. And the energy that moves through me now, the, the love, the joy, the excitement for what this year is going to be bringing all of us, it's beyond words, but it's so good. It's so good. So I invite you to join me on this ride in whatever ways feel good as we start this new year. Invite a friend to start listening to Gaia's Love. Share a podcast that inspires you and tell them why. Post podcast episodes on social media and tell people about this new dialogue, this new relationship we're creating with Earth and humanity. Go outside today, breathe with me, and then hashtag I am here now, Gaia. And let's fill our news feeds with these new images. And then join me on Sundays. Heal, (laughs) expand, start delighting in what is possible with me. Yeah, we are off and running on this first podcast of 2019 it is good to be back Thank you for tuning in to today's vibration. Let's take this message of pure love out into all of our communities and continue expanding love here on Gaia. So much love from my heart to yours.